Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel. This is Masala Visual. In today's video, we are going to cover an interesting topic. That's just uh, my top acquired goodies, which you should know about. And uh, I'm going to cover a bit of demonstration about these goodies. So first things first, what are goodies? And as the name says, goodies. Uh, this is something good, something uh, desirable pleasurable to use so in Nike kit goodies are sort of extras uh, extras add-ons so I'm going to cover this add-ons in Nike kit and how you install them and first things first you, you're going to check it out in the iCAD uh, website I'll leave the link in the description where you can download it uh, these goodies are you know comprised of accessories uh, roof slab and wall accessories, interior wizards, uh, construction simulation, um, uh, you know, a 3D studio in, mesh to roof tool, profiler. You'll find them in the link here. So, what you download is basically you download this here, and then it'll take you to download, and then you install. And then you install you run you run your installation and that's basically it depending on the version you are using so you have add-ons from iCAD 21 to 25 so download the installer which switch your operating system and then close each iCAD instance and then load the goodies library so that's when you can enjoy your goodies with the endless possibilities. So let's see what this endless possibilities are. We'll start with the accessories, which are just basic. I think you all know about it. Uh, but if you don't, it's just about enhancing your model appearances and yeah, and so on. So let's see how to use this accessory add-ons. We have here a model that I think you're familiar with. Uh, it's just a, a bachelor pad, a small, I wanted to just demonstrate, but I have examples of the same demonstrations, same workflows I've used in different uh, files, but just this is just a small uh, demonstration project. So we have a uh, small rooms here. Uh, first things first, for you to uh, get to know like familiarize yourself with you need to make zones for you to use accessories so i just picked a, a zone tool uh, real quick that will help me uh, navigate around the accessories so quick quick we'll start with the roof the, uh, the slab the slab accessory or whichever accessory you choose but select the zone and then go to design design extras and then this only works, Design Extras only works when you install the goodies. So, Design Extras. Then, if you have a lot of libraries, you can download from Beam Object. You, it'll help you uh, enhance your floor constructions, your ex slabs, accessories, and so on. So, but for now, you're going to use uh, Floor Construction 24 in IKEA 24. This is a library. Kid. So it's a slab. I really like to compare it with the composite. If you are not familiar with the composite, this is an object now, you know. And then after selecting it, you trace around. You trace around where you place it. So I'm gonna just check if I uh, pinched it. No, I didn't. This is an accessory. This is an accessory. So the here, I want to, I wanted to demonstrate that you could have an, an object, an accessory. If you don't know how to use accessories, if you don't know how to use your your composites, this is what you could use. Design extras, accessories, um, create, you know. A, Slab accessory, and then 
the geometry you could add just just look the way you you create your 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 composite this is where you, as well you can create your composite you punch in thicknesses and so on yes and then you trace around you trace around the desired space of the accessory yes it should be manual it should be automatic uh, it should be automatic i, I think there's a, a way to be automatic and then there is this one you delete then you place this one at the top at the bottom and then yeah you can increase thicknesses uh appearances how do you want to place it as well as classifications because you need to go schedule this in the, in the, in the long run yes so that's basically it about uh, flow slab we can move on you see now comparing with the composite this side you could you know yes okay we move on uh, we are going to add more accessories select the zones design we are moving on to um, interior wizards like it like the name says wizard should be interesting so what this is what you do there's a ceiling accessory there's a wall accessory there's a flux accessory as well so it depends and like i said there are no objects here only 24 so you could load more interesting accessories or you could download in beam objects yes and then we have moldings wall panels that you could use very nice so you play around with the molding panels and you know choose your wall finishes this could help in terms of scheduling where you could now schedule your painting properly you know your tiling and so on so that's basically it. the floor accessory is the same as the one no, the uh, slab accessory so i'm going to skip this one and then i just say okay so it's at punched in this was just now when you want to you know take your design further make it interesting you could use these accessories and you know and then you see your wall finishes the wall the walls the cladding the tree moldings and then the cornice it comes with cornices you know those moldings and then the slab that will flow accessory i think when you come rendering it will be nice it will come out nice modeling well yeah, that's basically it uh, that's basically it in terms of accessory even ceilings the moldings you could play around with the settings and finishes and so on you know just a few things track a little you know yeah that's basically it so this is an example like i said i'll show you a, a project that i did uh here i was just scheduling or using this project as a facility management this tool could be used in facility management and room data sheets of every room like of every office if you are doing an office and you know so you could schedule everything every accessory this is how i scheduled it and everything that the accessory comes with like the ferro you're using it for ceiling the lights you're going to schedule the switches and so on so that's basically it you could take your accessories that further you could take the accessory that further yeah so another accessory is the roof roof accessory which i think i had I had to fin i had to start with um you select the roof design extras and then a roof accessory that's the f a really the quickest way a quickest way easy way so roof surface is 24 it comes with a lot of um uh, examples you have, you have the corrugated sheets trapezium sheet normal tiles giant tiles and so on you can play around with the uh, de details and then choose 
this is a nice uh, finish you could check again test another one and create a sheet nice you can play with another one um, down the tiles play around with the finishes tiling and so on you have the flex flexibility guys these are just uh, pleasurable to use like I said at the beginning very good something good to um, enhance your models appearances and so on and yeah let's be skillet our end here uh, in terms of the roof accessory another one of this add-ons of this goodies is the construction simulation the construction simulation construction simulation like though it says is all about uh, sequencing your project project elements it allows you to simulate the construction process with a kit 3d model by associating construction simulations construction elements to a task list uh, you know this is you associate your, your objects the designs that like every element from footing walls and you know finishes trusses and so on to an element to a task so where do you find this you go to listings so that's basically it animating your construction a kid element um so like like i said where do we find it uh first things first it only works when the floor plan is active you go to document listing extras construction simulation so here you can open and create tasks so like a, a, a 4d is it 4d is it 5d it's, uh, it's 4d this is 4d so here you create tasks of your construction program uh, construction sequencing what do you start with maybe excavations and so on but here I'm going to just for demonstration I'm going to create a new task um, and then footing and then slab things that I used basically add footing slab and then walls and then you could start you know the dates just random but according to your program you could do that and then I was brickwork I meant to say and so building uh, choose date uh, start on the top fitting depends it will end on yes it's basically it and then create a new task roof and so on so this task I haven't linked elements to it to them yet so the catch is to link elements to the tasks that i'm doing but now i'm just you know okay now let's do this let's link what do i want to link to the footing i go to the foundation footing i go to the footing i link these are my elements my footing as for the slab, I go find the slabs. That's why working with layers is good and then grouping them. It's good for such things. You link, yes. And then brickwork, I select my, my work, my brickwork. I have done an in-depth tutorial about this, I think, um, about two years ago. I left the link to the description. Here I was just showing you just a real demo real guys real quick so associate every element to every task it's just that and then for you to start simulation the animation you go back to document listing extras and construction simulation and then yeah create animation but you can save save the project first save the project first 
yes and then create animation yes uh, basically i just you can include a caption you can include uh, dates if you want your contact information to show dates and so on yeah so and then save and then that's how your animation is created animation has been created you you go find it uh, yeah so I'm not happy with this but for demonstration sake I showed you how um, and then this is an example of an animation I, I should I was, should, I was talking about uh, check the link in the description for you guys to hone your skills according to uh, construction simulation and so on so let's move on to I think for for not this video to be lengthy and so on let's move to our last uh, add-on uh, goodie which is the mesh to roof add-on uh, like the name says you can now turn your meshes to roofs <laughs> uh, it's interesting so what you do is have a mesh and then you can shape shape it the way you want shape it the way you want and thicknesses and so on split it increase your heights elevations and so on maybe trying to mimic the just here because i'm i'm trying to mimic the existing roof but you could i believe could do wonders with this uh, given the creative aspect of the, our field you could do wonders with this one yeah okay so basically this is the roof uh, also it works best when the on your on the floor plan all right you can't do it on 3d so in 3d you're going to shape your roof or shape you know and then right, right click it go to the plan right click and then design create roofs yeah it's created just like that design the next dress create roof from mesh so it's done go to 3d um, this is the roof single planes gable roof <laughs> you could delete the unwanted things now you have the flexibility to uh, tuck around the roof now because now it's a roof and has properties of a roof now you could change angles you could thickness of a uh, fascia boards and on uh, and then the the profile of the roof as well basically the roof um, yeah it's a new add-on it's very pleasurable to use in terms in terms of when you're given a creative project you could you could use wonders with this one yeah but that that was basically it i hope you enjoyed this uh lesson a uh, real quick brief introduction to arcade goodies and other more but in terms of time i'll stick to this ones um this file will be on patreon uh, thank you guys for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, check these files for further demonstrations, for further practicing. Um, thank you for the feedback you've been getting. We've been getting. Um, as always, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, follow us on these platforms, social media platforms. Get our resources. Practice with our models. I'll leave the link to our websites where you could find these things and thank you guys uh, as always stay creative bye for now